here we are again. Another beautiful morning. These are the doors that I had been stockpiling for this swap. They're ready for paint, or so I thought. They've been stashed in an attic for a while once we found them. I wanted to hold them on just in case, hold on to them. But anyway, I got, looks can be deceiving of course, because I have a significant amount of rust on the back side. Luckily, I still have the regulators. There's still a good manual door set up for parts, but that door, although it looks pretty on the outside, is trash, so that's out. And then this one looks pretty straight. I see dings, the typical small stuff. This is a passenger side door. And it's a lot better off. It's just barely starting to surface rust. It can easily be cleaned up. So I believe I'm going to use this door because this door, it's on the car. It's got quite a few waves, especially on the body lines, a bunch of dings. And really, I just want to make my job as easy as possible. So if I can prevent having to do any body work or at least body work of that size. Everybody's like, ah, it's barely, it. yeah, trust me, I don't want to do it. I'm gonna replace this deck lid too because it's got a little bubble under the lid. And then the door itself, the driver, is in pretty good shape. So I think I might be using this door because the rust, although they all pretty much have some at the bottom, this one definitely is nowhere near as bad. It's not rusted through. I can still fix this easily and make sure it never comes back. So I think I'm gonna be modifying these doors, at least this door, with the T-top glass. But I do have a set of T-top doors that I need to see what condition they're in because I know one of them is trash, but one of them might be bolt-on ready. So I'm going to go take a look at those.